as you've known, I've been picking a whole bunch of blueberries and today we're gonna make a blueberry pie. Well, I'm gonna give you the recipe for one, but I'm gonna show you blueberry pie three different ways, okay? So, what you're gonna do, two cups of blueberries, freshly picked from my blueberry patch. I don't like a sweet pie, I like a tart pie. Half a cup of sugar and a pinch of cinnamon. That cinnamon just gives it a little bit of a kick, so when you're eating it, you're saying, hmm, just kind of that little extra flavor. And a third a cup of flour. So now we're gonna mix all of this together till it's well mixed in. And you'll know um, it doesn't stick like other fruit pies do because blueberries are a little dry. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to pour this mixture into your pie crust. And if you want it to be a little wet, here I am at my kitchen sink, if it makes you a little nervous, a little dab of water just to mix that flour and sugar, it's not a problem at all. So now we're mixing it all together. It's sticking to our blueberries. Now we are pouring it into our pie crust. So here we go. So this pie right here is gonna be a blueberry. This pie right here is going to be a blueberry lattice pie. This pie right here is going to be a double crusted blueberry pie. So what I do is I just put a little bit, a little bit, and then I'll go back and see what needs a little bit more. And yes, I am not a meat baker. And there you go. We have a few left over. I guess I measured a little wrong. So now what we're going to do is top our pies. So here's the crumble topping. And this crumble topping is just any topping that you can you use at home. So this is my apple crisp crumble topping. So it's just flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a little oatmeal. There you go, I cover up all my blueberries. Isn't that beautiful? And then on the lattice one, I just do six lattices. So I don't weave the whole thing. What I do is I go one across in the middle, then I make a cross, then I, I didn't cut these very good, did I? And then I go to the side, and to the side, the other side, the other side, and then I just go and I crimp it around. I pat it down a little bit, and if I have any little extra, I just put it onto the crust. And you can see how easy it is to make a uh, lattice crust. Some people like lattice crust, some people like double crust. So I was just showing you three, three ways. And now, let me put the little blueberries in my double board on there. Now we're doing a double crust pie. So now I just go, and if I have a little extra, I just take it off, crimp it all around. And then I'm gonna take a knife, and I forgot to bring a knife over here. Good thing we're in my kitchen. And I put a little, um, I put a little cut in there so the steam can escape as it's baking. And then I just take a little extra sugar. I always have a little extra sugar because it just makes it a little prettier. Put it on the crust, sprinkle it, and there you go. And now I'm gonna put them all in the oven. Bake for 40 to 50 minutes at 400 degrees. And then I'll show you what they look like when they come out, magic of television. Pie crust out because these are going to be blueberry lemon meringue pie. There we go. Okay, we are baking. We'll be back 40 to 50 minutes. Thank you. 50 minutes later, here are our finished pies double crust blueberry, blueberry crumble, and lattice blueberry. Don't they look yummy? Gonna go get some vanilla ice cream, put some on top, can't wait to dig in. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like the recipe as much as I do. Thank you.